Before I share the screen and we jump back into Rainmaker, I kind of just want to recap where we have come so far. So last week, I started out by talking about mindset. We talked about 90% uh, of success is mindset, so how we think matters. Uh, we also talked about blocking time for our big rocks. And in, lead, in real estate, our big rocks are lead generation, going on appointments with buyers and sellers, taking seller listings, executing contracts, and practicing and role-playing our scripts. And we know from Bull that if it's not in your calendar, it doesn't exist. So make sure that you are including a time block in your calendar. I'm scrolling in mine so I can show you what I want it to look like. In your calendar so that you're blocking time for these things. And I want you to use a paper calendar, right? I want you to use a paper calendar so that this could be sitting in front of you all day so you know what matters most. Never let the things that matter least get in the way of things that matter most. And the things that matter most in my real estate business are lead generation, appointments with sellers and buyers, taking seller listings, executing con contracts, practicing and role playing my scripts. Now, other big rocks for me, personal growth, reading, praying, meditating, exercising, spending time with my family, Make sure you're blocking time for that. Make sure that you've got time in your calendar for pink time. Pink time is family time and personal time. Friday, family fun. Show your kids that you've got them in your calendar. This is magic. They're gonna love it. By the way, they're gonna be a lot more forgiving of you when you have to spend more time at work. Okay, we also talked about getting into the habit of creating business. And this is where we get into lead generation. And we've led with a conversation around getting appointments with for sale by owners, which is where we're going to pick up today. And the purpose of the call is to get the appointment period at the end. And yeah. is there anything, good job, Wayne. And is there <laughs> anything that's going to cause you not to go on the appointment? Nothing on earth, not nothing, pandemic. nothing. So I'm only paying 1%. Awesome. Does three o'clock work or would four be better for you? If I ever listed my home, I have, I've already got a real estate agent I would hire. Awesome. Does two o'clock work or would three be better for you? I'm never going to hire you. Cool. Talk to you next week. You're ne going to get the appointment and you're going to follow up forever. So if the purpose of the call is to get the appointment, then the purpose of the appointment is not to get a listing. The purpose, hold on one second when Monica joins us on our call. <laughs> the purpose of the call, great, thanks Monica, now I forgot where I am. Get the, purpose of the call. Get the appointment. Get the appointment. There is absolutely nothing that's going to stop me from going on the appointment. Nothing, period, the end. Oh, I know where I was. So if the purpose of the call is to get the appointment, then the purpose of the appointment is not to get a listing. That's where you were. Thank you, Eddie. <laughs> the purpose of the appointment is to create opportunity, to set a foundation, to follow up from, and to look for opportunity. We're working like farmers and thinking like hunters. Mm -hmm. So we're planting seeds. That's working like a farmer. Mm -hmm. Follow up is watering the crops. And thinking like a hunter means as soon as I see opportunity, I turn into a hunter. Now, what does opportunity look like? How does it show up? That's one word, starts with an F. And no, it's not a bad word. Don't do that. Frustration. Thank you. It's frustration. As soon as I fr see frustration, Alex, I could be wrong. And if I'm being too aggressive, please forgive me. However, if you wanted to hire a professional real estate agent like me, you would want to hire an aggressive agent, wouldn't you? Yes, sir. And it looks like or it feels like you might be thinking it's time to hire a professional like me so you can get to Atlanta by the end of the summer with your family. And if I was able to show you how I could sell your home for more money in less time and get you to Atlanta by the end of the summer with your family, would you be interested in seeing how I could do that? Now, when Alex says yes, I've got a listing appointment, correct? Yes, now what if Alex says no? 
I'm so sorry. Like I said, I'm aggressive and hopefully I'm not too pushy. And I will continue to try to help find a buyer for you so we can get your home sold and get you to Atlanta, which means I'll keep calling because I'm really good at follow up. So all I'm going to do is back up, ask for forgiveness, and then just keep following up. Now, after you've gone on the appointment, the key, that is, <laughs> the key to success is follow up. All right, let me get into my screen share. And I'm going to jump around a little bit today, guys, because we're going to work on two main subjects. We're going to talk about follow up and then we're going to get into some scripts. And yes, I will copy and send all these scripts to you. Yay. Yay, right? Okay, cool. I know you guys are excited. I'm excited. All right, page 24. Uh, follow up. Day one. This means the day after you were face to face with that for sale by owner or an expired listing or someone that you met with because of circle prospecting, you're going to call them the very next day and thank them for the opportunity to meet with them. That's really it. Hey, Alex, John Dietz, following up as promised. Thank you for taking my call. I know you're busy. I only need 30 seconds. You're a persistent bugger, aren't you? Yeah, well, don't forget, Alex, it's just day one because they're not, they're not gonna say that just yet. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, get your script book out, buddy, and follow along. <laughs> so, I wanted to reach out for two reasons. Number one, and I wanted to thank you for the opportunity to see your home yesterday while you have a gorgeous house. Yeah, he's gonna say thank you. The second reason I wanted to follow up was to see if you have any questions for me. Say no, Alex. Now, now that you saw the house, what do you think it's going to take to sell it? No, they're not gonna say that just yet. No? But if okay. they do, I'll go there. I'll get there just a little bit later. It's typically, I wanna coach everybody on this call to what they're normally gonna hear. Okay. And what they're normally gonna hear right now is no, I don't have any questions. Okay. And then the next thing you're gonna say is cool. Thank you again for the opportunity to see your home. I'll call you again in a week. I'm letting you know I'm going to follow up again. And if you have any questions, I'm just a phone call away. Now, I'm gonna follow that phone call up with a handwritten personal note. Personal notes are powerful. Craig Sarnoff, I know he's on the call because I saw his name, his name wrote 1,200 personal notes last week. 1,200? Seriously? Saw that. So don't tell me you can't write five a day. If you can't, if Craig Sarnoff can write 1,200 personal notes in a week, you could write five a day. So send a handwritten personal note. It doesn't need to be a book, guys. One of the crazy reasons I get from real estate agents for why they're not sending personal notes is they don't know what to write. <laughs> All right, here you go. Thank you for the opportunity to see your home. I enjoyed our visit and I am looking forward to working with you. Make it a great day, John. No, don't say John if your name's not John because that's just weird. Here's another tip. Use a, use a Sharpie marker so that it takes up more space on the page versus using a fine point pen. Because if you're a small hand writer, then you got itty bitty space at the top of the personal note filled out, the rest is blank. That's weird too. You want to fill up the card, but you want to fill it up with something short, quick, to the point. All right. Week two. So I'm going to let a week go by. It's a check-in call, and it would simply be Victoria John Dietz following up as promised. Thank you for taking my call. I appreciate you. I know you're busy, and I only need 60 seconds. And the purpose of my call is I wanted to see, is your home still for sale? And what kind of feedback have you been getting from showings? And, and so yeah, go ahead, Victoria. No, 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 I'm, I'm ready for you to play along. Okay, that is still, to, it's overpriced. Is that right? Okay. I'll tell you what, you know, if I could call all the buyers who have seen your home and I could get feedback for you. Would that be valuable information for you? Yeah. Yeah. So what if I were to drop off a sign-in sheet for you? You have your buyers sign in, and I stop by once a week and pick up the sign-in sheet and call all of your buyers for you. Would you like for me to do that? You would really do that for me? 
Gladly. Wow. Okay. Cool. So I'm adding value guys. And I've also just got a list of buyers who want to buy a house. You guys tracking? Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Week three. Eddie, John Dietz, following up as promised. Thank mm -hmm. you for taking my call. I appreciate you. I'm sure you're busy and I only need 30 seconds. Guys, get this script. By the way, you don't need another one. This one works. <laughs> and just checking to see, is your home still for sale? Yes, it is. Okay. Have you had any offers? Uh, not yet. Oh, okay. So how's the activity been? Are you getting lots of showings? Slow down a little bit. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm is a script. Mm -hmm. Write that down. H-M-M -M or however you spot. Hmm. The script. All I'm doing is I am demonstrating that that's interesting to me, meaning I would have expected that he would have a lot more activity than he does. Another translation, Eddie might be doing something wrong. Now, Eddie, have you filled out your seller's disclosures by any chance? You know, if a buyer is interested in your home, they're going to ask you to see seller's disclosures. Have you filled those out? I don't Eddie? even know what that is. Yeah. Of course you don't. Now that's not script, by the way. <laughs> I don't say that. <laughs> so I will gladly drop off seller's disclosures for you and show you how to fill those out. Would that be helpful? Uh, yes, of course. Yeah, cool. Tomorrow at three or would four be better for you? Uh, tomorrow's three would work. All right. So if Eddie's the same person that I visited three weeks ago and I, and he's the same person that I made the phone call to Victoria to a week ago. I've been to Eddie's house three times now. Am I developing a relationship with that person? Yes. Say yes. Am I creating emotional proximity? Yes. yes. Say yes. When Eddie thinks of a real estate agent, and he has the aha that he's going to need to hire a real estate agent to get his home sold. Who's he going to think of first? You. Me. What if Eddie even told me, John, I've already got an agent. This is on the first call. Now it's three weeks later. What if on the first call, Eddie said, John, I've already got an agent that I would hire. So you're wasting your time if you're coming here to list my home. Now it's three weeks later. And I've been at Eddie's home three times. Now watch this, following week. Hey, Eddie, John Dietz, following up as promised. Now, Eddie, what I want you to do is I want you to remind me that you have an agent, we're out of script here, guys, that you have an agent that you were gonna hire before you started selling your home by owner. Got it? This is playing chess, this is playing chess, not checkers, guys. I'm being strategic. So, Eddie, John Dietz, following up as promised. Thank you for taking my call. I appreciate you. I'm sure you're busy. I only need maybe 60 seconds. Just want to check in and see if your home still for sale. It is. Hmm. Have you and had any offers? Just, yeah. to, just to let you know, I had an agent in mind I wanted to use before I put my house up on the market. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you told me that. Yeah. You know, just curious, in the last four weeks, how many times have they called you to see how things are going? Actually, not even once. How, how many times have they come over to your house to provide you with information to help you get your home sold? None, no, no, not even once yet. Eddie, between that agent and me, who do you think's more interested in seeing your home get sold? You seem to be more interested. Hmm. So if I could show you how I could sell your home for more money and less time, would you like to see how I could do that? Uh, give me another week. Yeah, cool. So it's Tuesday and next Monday is next week, right? <clears throat> yeah. So just curious if for some reason your home hasn't sold between now and next Monday, if we were to meet, <clears throat> does morning or afternoon work better for you? Afternoon. So three o'clock or four o'clock? Four o'clock sounds good. 
Yeah, and if your home sells, you could just cancel the appointment, right, Eddie? Yes, of course. In the meantime, if I could help you, if I could show you how I could sell your home for more money so you could get to Atlanta in the shortest period of time, that would be a good thing, right? Yes, it would be a good thing. Okay, cool, see you next Monday. All right, week six, check-in call. From here on, it's the same thing, guys. Thank you for taking my call, I appreciate you. I know you're busy, I only need 60 seconds. Is your home still for sale? Have you had any offers? What kind of feedback are you getting? Week eight, same thing. Week 10, same thing. Week 12, same thing. Now we're three months in. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna back off to one call a month. And now I'm gonna call you every month until your home sells or you list it with another real estate agent. Longest period of time it took me in this process was three years and 89 phone calls. Three years and 89 calls before they hired me. And by the way, on the first call, it was, we're never going to hire you. Guys tracking? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's skip down to, remember, even during follow-up process, you are working like a farmer hunter mentality. It means I'm always looking for opportunity and I'm just planting seeds. This simply <laughs> means that your job is to stay in touch, provide service, and look for opportunity. As soon as you see opportunity, it's time to transition to being a hunter. It's not your job to create opportunity. Holy cow, if you don't write anything else down, write that down. Mm -hmm. It is not your job. Somebody's drawing on my picture. I love that. Make it a smiley face if you're going to draw. Um, it's not a, that's one crazy smiley face. It's not your job to create opportunity. It is your job to stay in touch. All right, now somebody's in a hurricane. I'm gonna mute everybody. And when you need to talk, just jump in. Give me a second, mute all. Yes, okay. You can't create opportunity. It's not possible. I can't make Wayne decide that he wants to list his home. I just need to keep following up until he self-discovers that he's going, he's, it's in his best interest to hire a professional like me. If Wayne walks into Nordstrom's and I'm the salesperson and I'm checking in to create emotional proximity, I'm not gonna make him buy anything. I'm just gonna keep checking in until he's ready. I'm not gonna walk over and say, oh, that suit looks good, buy it. That doesn't work. It wouldn't work with me. Why would it work with a seller? All right. It is not your job to create opportunity by convincing a seller that they need to hire you right now. All right. So these are some conversations that I have with real estate agents. Agent, I use your scripts and got the appointment. Hoorah. Me, that's awesome, good for you. Agent, I toured the home just like you said and then used your exit script. So far, so good. Me, that's awesome again. Then what? Agent, I've called a couple times, but they are not motivated and their price is ridiculous. Me, how long have you been following up? Agent, two weeks and nothing. Me, so what's next? Agent, I don't know. Does that conversation sound familiar? Have you had that conversation with yourself? If so, then you are not listening. Your job is not to call for sell by owners, go on previews, and then convince them that they need to hire you. Your job is to fill your pipeline with opportunity every day and then follow up forever. If I work 50 weeks, five days a week, and I go on one appointment a day, that's 250 opportunities in my pipeline. And that's one appointment a day with someone who's interested in selling their home. Are for sell by owners interested in selling their home? Say yes. Are expired listings interested in selling their home? Yes, well at least they were. If you call a circle prospecting call and you talk to a seller and you said, you know, we just sold a home around your, the corner from you, sold for top dollar, which is awesome. And our challenge now is we have buyers that are interested in great homes like yours. And I was just curious, who do you know that might be thinking of selling their home? And the seller says, well, you know, I was kind of thinking of selling my home, but not for maybe about another year. Cool. 
I'd like to pop by and take a look in case I was able to bring you an offer. And you go on the appointment. Is that opportunity? Yes, it is. Because are you going to be selling homes a year from now? Yes, you are. Don't you guys love the way I just have both sides of the conversation here? You guys can just show up every day and look at me. You don't even have to talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 250 opportunities. And you are following up forever no matter what they say. In other words, don't be that agent that I used in the example in the book. Don't be that agent who gives up after two weeks because they're judging away opportunity. Just keep following, following up. No is a word that does not exist in your vocabulary. You don't know the meaning of the word no. Ten percent hire you. Ninety percent tell you to take a hike. You failed ninety percent of the time, and yet you sold twenty five homes. Average commission check, $10,000. You just made $250,000 by going on one appointment every day and following up forever. All right. Day 57. Talk to me. I know Natalie finally is like, okay, you can talk. <laughs> I gave you three minutes. It's awful. John, um, the first uh, option you gave that seller to pre-qualify their buyers for them, yeah, that is something rare somebody offers, so it should work for sure. Oh, extremely rare. Yeah. N never. Hey, guys, don't forget to put the number of listings you've taken and contracts you've executed in the chat so I can total them after today's call. All right. Extremely rare, Eddie. Extremely. Yeah. By the way, here's what some agents would do. They would try that and say, wow, that sounds like a great idea. I think I'll try it. And, this, and they talk to two or three sellers who say, no, that's a stupid idea. I'm not going to give you a sign-in sheet with call of my buyers on it. And they're going to go, that John doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm giving up. <laughs> Stop that. Just believe me, this works. Am I telling you it's going to work with everybody you talk to? No. no. But if it works with one out of 10, cool. Focus on what you get, not what you don't. Focus on success, not failure. All right, ahas, what'd you hear? What are you gonna do different? What's gonna change? What are you gonna implement today? I need to practice this script a lot. David Williams, you're 100% correct. So do I. Yeah, so do I. Uh, 10,000 hours is the path to mastery. And if, if you want to get to a point where you've absolutely internalized the scripts and you could just 10,000 hours. In uh, 2014, I followed up and uh, I got a listing apartment today, not for me, for another agent in my team. In Six years later. Six years later. Six years later. Yep. Eddie, great job. Thank you, sir. John, I believe somebody in the chat would like to hear the exit interview. Yeah, so Michael, thank you for the opportunity to see your home today. You have an absolutely beautiful home and I'm positive it'll sell. Before I leave, I'd just like to ask you a couple of questions. Would that be okay? Sure. Cool. So you know, in my experience, most for sale by owners have a game plan for how long they're going to sell their home by owner before they hire a professional like me. Is it okay if I ask you what your game plan is? Yeah, absolutely. Um, probably about 30 to 60 days. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got a beautiful house, so it'll, I'm sure it'll sell, which is great. So one more question before I leave, if that's okay. Sure. Yeah, you know, again, in my experience, most for sale by owners are selling their home by owner in order to save on the fee. Is that why you're selling by owner? Absolutely. $30,000 is a lot of money. Yeah, you know, that makes sense. And I know that if a real estate agent brought you a buyer, you would pay them 3%, correct? Absolutely. I mean, that's what you told me on the phone, right? Bring me a buyer, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 3% of 500,000 is $15,000, right? Yep. Yeah, so you're already willing to pay 15,000. So the difference between selling by owner and hiring a professional like me is really just the other $15,000, not 30,000, correct? 
Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Now I don't see opportunity, so I'm not closing. I'm <clears throat> just going to drop a bomb and walk away. In other words, I'm planting seeds so that later on Michael could go, Hmm, that made sense. Maybe I should give him a call. So Michael, I'm really good at follow up before I leave. Just one more thing. I'm really good at follow up, which means I will stay in touch. I'm okay. super persistent, but I'm not pushy. And if there's anything you need, I'm just a phone call away. Okay. Cool. All right. Thank you for letting me know that. By the way, that somebody wanted the exit conversation. All right, guys, it's 901. Give me one more. Come I was on. Say, let's see. Let's kind of go through it if there was some frustration there. Yeah. Okay. So can hear the other side of that conversation. Sure. So, Michael, the difference between selling your home by owner and working with a professional like me then is just $15,000 because you're already willing to pay $15,000 to a buyer's agent. It's not $30,000, correct? Yeah, wow. I guess I never thought about it that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if I'm being too aggressive, please forgive me. But if you were to hire a professional like me, you would want to hire an aggressive agent, wouldn't you? Yes. Cool. So, Michael, if I could show you how I could sell your home for more money, get you at least $15,000 more for your house than you could, and sell it in less time, would you be interested in seeing how I could do that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, now you got a list appointment, right? Cool, thank mm -hmm. you, Michael. All right, guys, 902, time to get on the phone, smile and dial, 20, con 20 conversations today. Get at least one appointment. It's your job. If you don't get an appointment, you're fired. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. And make those follow-up calls. Follow up forever. Send five handwritten personal notes. Holy cow, it's just that easy. 20 conversations. Go on one appointment every day. Follow up forever and send one personal note every single day. And watch the magic happen. Make it a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good Thank you.